The kitchen is the heart of Thomas André's house. The gallery owner from Berlin loves to talk to his family or friends while cooking. As his kitchen is more of a living room than a workplace, he thinks high-quality fixtures and fittings are important. We're definitely talking about a six-figure sum, depending, of course, on the features you want. It's all stainless steel. Laser beam welded and the countertop edge has also been welded in the same way. That's very labor-intensive, but if you're going to use your kitchen for 20 to 30 years, then it makes sense. Kitchens are getting bigger and more expensive. These days, one in seven German buyers spends 10,000 euros and upwards on a new kitchen, twice as many as 10 years ago. The kitchen has become increasingly important. It's become the center point of our lives. And there are certainly a lot of reasons for that. One reason is that a lot of women work these days, and more and more men have taken to cooking. And particularly important, I think, is the trend to healthy eating. Designers have to combine complex functionality with individually tailored aesthetics. The absence of handles helps to make kitchens look more like living rooms. As do modern ventilator hoods, which no longer have to be suspended over the stove. People are also turning to surfaces made from unusual materials, such as leather or even rusty steel. There's a definite trend back to more sensuous materials, a kitchen with a countertop made of wood that's almost been left in its natural state. Wood, stone or metal all give people a feeling of authenticity, of something genuine. The kitchen of the future is intelligent and interactive. The latest induction stovetop has flexible cooking zones. They can tell when a pot or pan has been moved and respond accordingly. With a smartphone app, you can look inside your high-tech refrigerator and get recipes for the food you have. But despite the technology, the kitchen should also be an oasis of calm. We are convinced that the more we advance into the age of globalization and internet, the more the pendulum swings back, and people have this longing for a deeply analog place where they can work with their hands and create something. Handmade kitchens are also very popular in the top price bracket. Kitchens have to be robust, because Germans only buy a new one every 15 years on average. At kitchen manufacturer Bultaub near Munich, they're testing how much weight the drawers can take. This piece of equipment simulates extreme weather conditions. That's particularly important for export markets. Some 80% of these kitchens are sold abroad. Wood is a living material. It warps, and of course, wood changes according to climate. There's a difference if you send a kitchen to Norway or to Asia with humidity levels of 95%. Germany's kitchens are an export success story, and one with history. The world's first fitted kitchen was developed in Frankfurt in 1926 by Margarete Schütte-Lihotzky. The Austrian architect focused on improved efficiency. Her idea was to have everything within arm's reach. Also to work with standardized modules that could be mass produced. Fitted kitchens have stood the test of time. They're not made up of a lot of different elements, but there's a continuous worktop. Modern kitchens have transmuted from functional workplaces for housewives to design-oriented status symbols. After all, it's taste that counts.